Hey guys, welcome to my desk. Today I'm going to show you my Simplified Schoolgirl project. Now, there's not much to this. Like you saw earlier, the circuit is very simple. And, uh, this is it. I have it all hooked up so that I can hook different things easily. Anyways, um, it consists of the circuit, the bifilic coil, and the wheel. The wheel has four magnets on it, arranged as you see them. And they're all north. Also, the the coil is north, the one facing upwards, the side facing upwards, sorry, is north. Um, that was really my only issue building this was, originally I wasn't sure what direction to put the coil, whether to flip it around or vice versa. Um, but you want to have all north, which means the coil also. Um, you can think of the coil kind of like a transformer, only the ratio is one to one. Um, you have two different gauges of wire, and uh, the north end is, I believe, always going to be, and don't quote me on this one, it's always going to be in the beginning of your wind. So the wire is going to be coming out the center there. Not that side's going to be your north, versus down here, these wires are coming off the top of the winding. So that's just a little heads up, make it easy for you guys. Um, so let's see this in motion. I'll hook up a, a charging battery real quick. So I have it charging a 12 volt battery, as you see there. Um, you know, the cool thing is that I don't actually need a 12 volts to charge this. I can I can run this on a 9 volt battery. I have it running on a 9 volt power supply right now. And uh, the reason I say 5k. Um, potentiometer instead of a 1k it's because with a high resistance on the trigger you don't get motion in the wheel here I'll show you the motion stops but it just starts pouring in this radiant energy and is able to charge the battery quite well um, this light on here it's 100 110 volt neon it will only light under 110. So I'm going to disconnect the uh, charging battery. And I've had really good results with charging like that. It's the solid state portion of it. So there it is, the simplified schoolgirl radiant oscillator. Thanks for watching.